All right, what's going on, everybody? I appreciate you stopping by. If you're new, feel free to stick around, hit that subscribe button. I will probably be live when this goes up, so you feel free to come check out if you have questions or whatever. Um, I just wanted to make a, a quick first impressions kind of video for Enshrouded. Um, it's made by Keen Games. They're the same people who made Portal Knights, which I actually really enjoyed Portal Knights for what it was. Um, but I think this is most definitely a more um, ambitious project for them, and I think they're a smaller studio. So I just wanted to touch on my experiences in the first few hours. Now, I did play in some of the closed testing, so I have a little bit of an idea of what's to come. So I'll touch on that kind of. Um, but the first few hours, I think, is your kind of typical tailored um, survival experience. It is a little bit more tailored than some. Um, you do have quests that it wants you to go and work on, so you are directed, uh, which is nice. Um, the crafting is also pretty straightforward. Um, something that they have done with the crafting is replace crafting stations to a certain extent with NPCs, and the NPCs almost act as the crafting stations. Now, when you get your crafting stations, they give you access to um, like a bench to make a resource for that crafting station, but you craft with the NPC, so it's kind of interesting. It's uh, different, but still should feel familiar. Um, the combat feels pretty good, actually. Um, I was a little skeptical, and like the axe for tree chopping feels pretty not great, um, just because you're rooted when you're swinging it. And I think you're rooted when you're attacking as well, but it's less obvious just because of the way that the animations and everything works and the dodge rolling and everything. So it feels pretty good. Um, I think it's definitely going to get better over time with the skill points and things. So there's a skill tree. Um, and there's kind of class specializations. Uh, so you get different skills and stuff that'll lean into different things like magic, wizards, um, warrior, tanking, healing, that kind of stuff. So there's going to be, from what I could tell in the group, um, or in the skill trees, some good group play. Um, I'm going to be playing solo for the most part, I think, so I can't really touch on that. Um, but it seems like the some basic things are in place to make group play pretty satisfying. So that's good. Uh, I've heard um, people talking about kind of weird stuff playing on server, with it all being server-side progression, not being able to build a ton of different bases, not being able to have copies of the uh, crafting people. Um, so if that's a deal breaker for you, I've seen some people holding off, waiting for them to maybe make that a little bit more individual progressive stuff. But if you're okay just building a town together with your friends and having a crafting area, then that's not going to affect you anyways, which is kind of what we would typically do also. So I don't see that as being really a deal breaker, um, but it's definitely something that they could work on down the road to allow you to do that stuff if you wanted. Um, the food and the stamina, if stamina and the way that it kind of works in Valheim is a deal breaker for you, it might still be a deal breaker for you in Enshrouded. Uh, the food system seems very similar in like, it seems like you could have three slots the foods do different things like boosting your health, boosting your stamina, your stamina regen, various different things. Um, but without those things active, your stamina is very, very low. That you'll be lucky to even chop through one tree without having to stand and wait for your stamina to regen sometimes, depending on the tree. Um, I have noticed it, but it hasn't been terrible, especially in combat. It's mainly the gathering, which in like Valheim... You'd be mid-combat and then just having to walk around like your stamina region because you just ran out. Uh, I haven't really had that happen yet uh, in combat, which is the bigger of the two. But gathering is, you know, I, that's, I'm anticipating that also getting better down the road with more stuff. Again, this is the first maybe three hours or so of gameplay. Um, a big one uh, is building. I think building is probably going to be pretty big for this game. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a big building community, channels, all of that stuff, same as there is for other games. Um, because I think this has the potential to be probably one of the best building systems that we've had in a survival game to date, I think. Um, 
you could break stuff down into tiny little cubes like minecraft on a smaller scale so you could really detail things if you choose to but then they also have plenty of preset walls windows um doorways whatever so if you want the rudimentary kind of building it's there but if you want to take it to that next level and expand on that stuff and um really detail and make it your own it's there for you and you can do almost probably anything that you could think of and it will work fairly well and this is just the base implementation so i'm curious to see where they're going to go with the building and what they add and what they allow you to place um there's plenty of different materials that you could build out of metal wood dark wood stones flint stones all sorts of different stuff um there's terraforming so if you wanted to build into a cliff and have like a hobbit hole that's completely possible whereas that's not possible and basically every other survival game that's been popular um so there's full terraforming you could tunnel you can break through walls you can do everything everything's destructible and it's it's pretty immersive when you can shoot barrels and then blow craters into the ground i found um treasure chests and stuff hidden under that kind of stuff so exploration seems to be incentivized um, there's also plenty of lore books and things to kind of flesh out the world. Um, and that's kind of where my journey has stopped, but I have done the first boss. Otherwise, in the first shrouded area, I have not done it yet live, but I have done it. And even that experience seems pretty good. Um, the shroud isn't as punishing as you might think that it is. And maybe down the road that window will get tighter and tighter and tighter as far as uh, how difficult it is. But especially early on, it's it's very manageable. So if you're worried about that whole like timed mechanic of being in, and you could almost ignore it in the early game and be kind of fine. Um, there's stuff to replenish it throughout, so it's really not that big of a deal if you're thinking that's a deal breaker for you. Um, the other thing that I would consider a con, and it's not really a con is the character models. There's just something about them that my mind can't process because they look normal and proportioned correctly, but then they look stumpy. It's it's really weird. And I had asked the developers at some point if they'd planned on adding any character customization in that sense, which I'll touch on the character customization in just a second. And they said no, because it would involve a lot of rigging, a lot of animation changing and stuff like that. And again, they're a smaller studio, so that's fine. Um, the character customizations fine um they could use some face and like actual like customization they have plenty of beards and hairstyles um and skin color and hair color and all of that kind of stuff but it seems like the presets are the only way you could change your actual face so you pick the preset and then you could customize off of that um uh, that's not even a big deal. I think the character customization is pretty good, all things considered, and I'm I'm sure they're going to add more to it down the road. Um, all in all, I think it's a really, really, really good foundation. And if you want something that seems a little more expansive in like this medieval fantasy setting, this might be right up your alley. And I think if the foundation of the game is anything to go off of, the game has a pretty bright future ahead of it. So if you're thinking about playing it, I would absolutely pick it up and try it. Worst case, play it for the two hours, refund it if you don't really like it. You'll probably have a, a good idea, but it does seem like there's going to be a lot going forward that you won't get to experience in that first couple hours, because that's just the way that it goes. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got to say about it, honestly. Uh, again, I'm going to be live, I think, once this goes up. So if you want, you can hop over, ask me questions. You could see what I'm doing actively. Um, if you want to stick around, I'll probably do some follow-up types of videos like this on this game because it is a game that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Um, but until the next time, that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.